pig, little pig, let me come in. Not by the hair on my chinny chin chin. Hi, it's Ruby here. Fantastic. Today, I thought it would be fun to tell you one of my favorite children's stories. Have you ever heard of the three little pigs? Yeah. Are you ready? Uh-huh. Let's begin. Woo. Once upon a time, there lived a mommy pig, a daddy pig, and their three little pigs. It was time for the three little pigs to leave home. Goodbye. And each of them build a home of their own. Goodbye. The daddy pig said to the three little pigs, Be careful out there and watch out for one another. There's a big, bad, scary wolf that lives in the forest. The three little pigs hadn't walked very far until one little pig started to feel very tired. This will do, said the lazy little pig. He quickly built a house from straw that was laying around. Not much time had passed, and the second little pig stopped walking and looked around. This will do, he said, and he quickly built a house from sticks and branches that were scattered around on the ground. But the third little pig he walked and walked and walked until he found the perfect piece of land to build the perfect house. The third little pig was smart. He knew he needed to build a house out of strong brick to help keep him safe from that big, bad, scary wolf. He drew plans he bought the best bricks he could find. And finally, after a long time of work, he stood back and admired his big, beautiful brick home. Oh no, the big, bad, scary wolf came walking down the lane. He came across the first little pig's house, made out of straw. Little pig, little pig, let me come in, said the wolf. Not by the hair on my chinny chin chin, cried the first little pig. Then I'll huff, and I'm gonna puff, and I'm gonna blow your house in, screamed the wolf. Do you know what that big, bad, scary wolf did? He huffed, and he puffed. And he blew that house down. That little pig ran so fast. He ran so fast to his brother's house made of sticks. And here comes that big, bad, scary wolf. Little pigs, little pigs, let me come in, he growled. Not by the hairs on our chinny chin chins, cried the little pigs. Then I'm going to huff. And I'm gonna puff, and I'm gonna blow your house in. That big, bad, scary wolf puffed, and he puffed, and sure enough, he blew that house down. The two little pigs ran fast, so fast, until they finally reached the third little pig's house, made of brick. Don't worry, we are safe here in my strong, brick, beautiful home. There was a hard bang at the door. Little pigs, little pigs, let me come in, said the wolf. <laughs> Not by the hairs on our chinny chin chins, cried all three little pigs. Then I'm gonna huff, and I'm gonna puff, and I'm gonna blow your house down. So that big, bad, scary wolf huffed, and he puffed, and then he huffed and puffed some more. But nothing happened. The house stood strong. The wolf was angry and very hungry. 
He climbed up onto the rooftop and jumped down the chimney. Splash! Oh! <laughs> the wolf landed in a pot of boiling hot soup, and it burned his tail on fire. He leaped out of the chimney and ran away as far as far as he could. Now, as for the three little pigs, they did watch after each other. They lived happily ever after in the house made of bricks. And they never, never saw that big, bad, scary wolf again. Thank you for joining me here on Family Roberto. I hope you enjoyed the story of the three little pigs. Always watch out for one another, especially your brothers and sisters. Little pig, little pig, let me come in. Not by the hair on my chinny chin chin. <laughs> Well, hello there. Ruby here. I am so happy you stopped by. I don't mean to be rude, but I have company coming over, and I'm missing some ingredients for this special appetizer I'm making. Pigs in a blanket. I gotta skedaddle on over to the market to get some little weenies. Oh, I was just reminded of a story my mother used to tell me a long time ago. Once upon a time, there were three little pigs and their mommy and daddy. Oh, this family of pigs lived in an adorable cottage near the forest. One day, the three little pigs were outside playing tag. When suddenly, the mommy pig yelled out. Piggies! I need some eggs from the market. I'll go to the market. Hey! I wanted to go to the market. No, let me go to the market, Mama. Listen up, kids. Only one little piggy is going to go to the market. How are we going to decide who goes, sweetheart? Line up, little piggies. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Catch a piggy by its toe. Eggs, butter, cheese, bread. Go to the market. Straight ahead. Yay! I will go to the market and bring back the eggs, butter, cheese, and bread. The little pig skedaddled off to the market just a whistling down the lane. When he arrived at the market, he came up to the egg station. Out of nowhere, a big bad wolf appeared. Gotcha! I'm going to eat you up, little piggy. Oh, no, you won't. Not by the hair of my chinny-chin-chin. <laughs> you didn't bring back the market items. I have none. Kyle? Marty! Come here! I need one of you to go to the market. Pick me! Pick me! Let me go, Mama! I want to go! Line up, little piggies. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Catch a piggy by its toe. Eggs, butter, cheese, bread. Go to the market. Straight ahead. Woohoo! Off to the market I go. Off to the market I go. Hi-ho, the Cheerio. It's off to the market I go. Yep, the second little pig just as sang all the way down the lane to the market. He came up to the bread stand, and out of nowhere, that big bad wolf appeared and scared <gasps> the living daylights out of that little piggy. <laughs> scared you? I'm going to eat. Oh, no, you don't, Mr. Bad Wolf. Not by the hair of my chinny chin chin.
Why won't they allow wolves? I feel left out. <laughs> <laughs> So you didn't bring back the market items, right? Right, Mama. I want to stay home and eat roast beef. Marty, it looks like you're the only one of your piggy brothers that hasn't been to the market. Do you think you can bring back the eggs, milk, cheese, and bread? Just as sure as I have five little piggy toes, I will bring back those market items, Mama. This little piggy went to the market. This little piggy stayed home. This little piggy ate roast beef. This little piggy had none. This little piggy cried wee 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 all the way home. Your time is up. I ain't running no more after you little pigs. I'm hungry. Sure, what's for my dinner? <laughs> and this little pig cried. Wee 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 all the way home. I give up. I'll never catch those little piggies. Maybe I'd have better luck catching a chicken. Thank you for joining me, friends. I hope you enjoyed the story of the three little pigs went to the market. Oh, about that special appetizer. I don't think I'll be serving up pigs in a blanket after all. Perhaps a veggie tray. Well, hello there. Ruby here. You caught me just in time. I'm headed to town for a while. Mr. Wolfman, the manager of the library, is hosting the annual Easter egg hunt. And guess what? What? The winner of the hunt gets to select a library book to keep for themselves. Yes! What in tarnation am I seeing? The Three Little Pigs. Hello. Oh, I found one. Hold up, little piggy. That egg's not for hunting. That's my egg. Oh, I'm sorry, Ruby. My brothers and I are on our way to the library for an Easter egg hunt. And I thought this is where the hunt was. Apology accepted. I'm on my way to the Easter egg hunt, too. Why don't you three follow me? We can go together. Yay! Yippee! Let's go! <laughs> Hmm, I thought the Easter egg hunt was at the library. Hello there, little piggies. I've been expecting you. But I thought the Easter egg hunt was at the library. You don't look like Mr. Wolfman, the manager at the library. And this doesn't look like the library. Looks like Mr. <clears throat> Wolfman has some explaining to do, right? <coughs> the, the library had to close for an emergency, so we had to um, <coughs> move the hunt here yeah, in the fields. Yeah. <laughs> in the fields. Hmm. Okay. Listen up, little piggies. Line up. And when I count to three, go as fast as you can, trampling through the fields and find those eggs. Whoever has the most eggs in their basket when the timer is up is the winner of the Easter egg hunt. Are you ready? Let the hunting games begin. 
Okay, little piggies, let's take a look in your baskets to see who has the most eggs. Piggy number one has four eggs. Good job, little piggy. Piggy number two has three eggs. A wonderful job you did, little piggy. And pig number three has six eggs. Wow! Congratulations, little piggy. You have the most eggs in your basket. What did I win? You won a book from the library. Where is Mr. Wolfman, the manager of the library? <laughs> where is he? Mr. Wolfman, where are you? We have a winner. <laughs> Would you look at that? Looks like Mr. Wolfman isn't the manager of the library after all, doesn't it? Let's leave Mr. Wolf alone and let him sleep. I have a feeling he's been chasing pigs and finding eggs all day. Come on, piggies. Let's go back to my camper and I'll serve you up some of my good old apple pie. Hunt. The winner was supposed to get a book from the library to keep all for himself. Listen up, little friend. I have many books to choose from in my library. I'd be delighted to have you pick whichever one your little piggy heart desires. Thank you for joining me, friends. See you next time for another tale here on Ruby Storytime. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to another exciting episode of the Three Little Pig Tales. Get ready for a fun adventure. I'm Ruby, and today I'm headed to the racetrack to watch the thrilling car races. It's going to be a blast. Want to join me? Come on, let's go. Look over there, friends. The three little pigs are in the pit stop, getting their engines revved up and ready to race. Vroom, vroom, vroom. Red Turbo Trotter! At your service! Get ready to eat my dust! Step aside, racers. It's Yellow Flash. I'm the Zippy Pig in my yellow rocket car! Blue lightning strikes again. Watch out, everyone. I'm the fastest pig on the track. Vroom. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, pigs and piglets, get ready for the most exciting race you've ever witnessed. May I have your attention? We have a last minute racer joining the competition. Please welcome the one and only The Big Bad Wolf! Ha <laughs> The Big Bad Wolf in my beast mobile! <laughs> Time to make the three little pigs tremble! I'm ready to roar through this race and claim my victory once and for all! <laughs> 
On your marks, get ready, go! boost that will surely put me in the lead to win <laughs> oh no it's the big bad wolf he's taken the lead with a powerful boost that big bad wolf is clearly cheating he knows boost buttons are not allowed in this race <laughs> <laughs> Stop me. Red, yellow, <laughs> The wolf can't catch us. Keep up the pace. Zoom to victory and win the race. Go, big go! It's a triplet pig win! Hooray for the three little pigs! Oh my! What a story! That was an incredible race filled with twists and turns. But remember, friends, it's not just about winning. It's also about playing by the rules and being a good sport. Right, Mr. Wolf? You're right, Miss Ruby. Cheating may have given me a brief moment of victory, but it doesn't compare to the joy of a fair and well-earned win. Learning from our mistakes is an important lesson for all of us, Mr. Wolf. <laughs> And so, another little pigtail has come to an end. See you next time. Bye for now. Well, hello there. Ruby here. You caught me just in time. It's Teacher Appreciation Day. And I thought I'd make a special trip up to the school to tell the teachers how thankful I am for them. I'm sorry, friends. I haven't much time. I gotta catch the bus. You want to come along? Yeah. Well, follow me. Let's go to the bus stop. Well, what have we here? The three little pigs. <laughs> and hello to you two little piggies. Little piggy, I am ever so proud. You're learning Spanish. Si, sí, that means yes in Spanish, Miss Ruby. My teacher helps me learn Spanish. Ah, are you three pigs on your way to the bus stop by chance? We are! We're 
now in the school. Let's walk together, shall we? I'm headed that way too. It's Teacher Appreciation Day, and I want to personally tell the teachers how thankful I am for them. Yay! Let's go! Vamos! Welcome aboard, little kitties. Hop right in and let's go to school. Hmm, you're taking us to school, right, Mr. <clears throat> bus Driver? Yes, of course. I'm driving to school. <laughs> yeah, school. But you don't look like Mr. Peterson, the bus driver that takes us to school. <sighs> Get in the bus. Not by the hair of my chinny chin chin. You say, you say. That means go away in Spanish, Mr. Wolf. <sighs> Move aside, Mr. Bus Driver. I'm driving this bus. The piggies on the bus go off to school, off to school, off to school. The piggies on the bus go off to school. Learn, piggies, learn. Piggies on the bus go bumpity bumpity boo. Oh, bumpity boo. Ooh, bumpity bumpity boo. The piggies on the bus go off to school. Learn, piggies learn. Learn, piggies learn. <sighs> Here we are, friends. Safe and sound at the schoolhouse. Welcome, friends, to the schoolhouse. Come on in. Something tells me you're not Mrs. McDaniel. What big eyes you have, Mrs. McDaniel. The better to see you with, my little Piggly Wiggly. You have super big ears, Mrs. McDaniel. The better to hear you with, my dear. No, you're not my teacher. You are El Gran Lobo Malo. That means the big bad wolf, Mr. Wolf. Mr. Wolf, you have shown bad behavior. Your bad behavior will have consequences. Do you see that corner inside? Mm. Adios. Adios means goodbye in Spanish. <laughs> We just want to say thank you for being such a wonderful teacher. We all appreciate you very much. Gracias. Gracias means thank you in Spanish. Gracias for joining me, friends, here on Ruby Storytime. I hope you enjoyed the story. Do you remember the Spanish words we learned today? <laughs> Adios! Adios! Boink, boink. Hello there! Hi! Ruby here. <laughs> Friends, are we ever in for a drink today? Cool! I'm headed over to the school gymnasium. <gasps> the town is holding auditions for a worldwide idol talent competition. Can I play too? What's that? You want to come along? Yes. Let's go. <laughs> well, what have we here? The three little pigs. Looking mighty fancy. Where are you, little? Piggy's headed. Hi, Miss Ruby. We are competing in the Worldwide Idol Talent Competition. Excellent. We want to be stars. Nothing's going to get in our way of pursuing our dreams. <laughs> I love your enthusiasm. Thanks. I'm headed there, too. You want to walk together? Oink, oink. Oink, oink. Oh. 
Headache from all the so called singing. Next, we have a group song from the Three Little Pigs. Oink, oink. Ladies and gentlemen, there's pigs in the house. Supersonic, naturalistic, espiaridocious. We three pigs are gonna show you that the world will eat. Everybody want to step, work your body, sweat, 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 crispy bacon, no, 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 no. Take it away, mommy and daddy. Supersonic, fragilistic, espionidocious. Our three pigs are super smart. The big bad wolf can fool us. Piggly Wiggly is one to step. Mr. Wolf is such a pest. Crispy bacon, no, 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 no. Not today. <laughs> Supersonic, fragilistic, espialidocious. Hi, three pigs, it's nice to meet ya. I'm the wolf and I'm gonna eat ya. Watch me do the one, two step. Don't just squeal, no need to stress. Crispy bacon, yum, 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 yum. What did you say? I said supersonic, fragilistic, espialidocious. Hi, three pigs, it's nice to meet ya. I'm the wolf and I'm gonna eat ya. Watch me do the one, two step. Don't just squeal, no need to stress. Crispy we bacon, yum, 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 yum. Super sonic, naturalistic, espionidocious. We three pigs are gonna show you that the wolf will eat us. Everybody, one, two, step. Shake your booty, we won't fit. Crispy bacon, no, 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 no. Go away, Mr. Wolf. Go eat some eggs or something. Choke on a bagel! Magnificent! Absolutely brilliant! The best audition of the day! That's just awesome! <clears throat> <clears throat> Mr. Pal, I want you to know that the three little piggies have worked very hard on this musical number. And it's a shame Mr. Wolf here tried to ruin it. It's okay, Miss Ruby. We're used to that big bad wolf causing problems. Nothing's going to get in our way of our dreams, Miss Ruby. Yeah, we won't let anyone bring us down. Excellent. Well said, little piggies. There can only be one winner for the worldwide idol competition. Drum roll, please. And the winner of the Worldwide Idol competition goes to the Three Little Pigs. Oh, that's just awesome. All right. Smile for the camera, little piggies. One, two, three. Thank you for joining me here on Ruby Storytime. I hope you enjoyed the story of Worldwide Idol Competition oink, oink. with the three little pigs. Oink, oink. <laughs> oink, oink. Hi, it's Ruby here. Hello. Today, I thought it would be fun to tell you one of my favorite children's stories. Yeah. Have you ever heard of the Three Little Pigs? Oink, oink. Are you ready? Yes. Let's begin. <laughs> Once upon a time, there lived a mommy pig, a daddy pig, and their three little pigs. It was time for the three little pigs to leave home, and each of them build a home of their own. I can do that. Let's go. The daddy pig said to the three little pigs, Be careful out there and watch out for one another. There's a big, bad, scary wolf that lives in the forest. 
The three little pigs hadn't walked very far until one little pig started to feel very tired. Oh, this will do, said the lazy little pig. He quickly built a house from hey! straw that was laying around. Not much time had passed, and the second little pig stopped walking and looked around. Uh, this will do, he said, and he quickly built a house from sticks and branches that were scattered around on the ground. But the third little pig, he walked and walked and walked until he found the perfect piece of land to build the perfect house. The third little pig was smart. He knew he needed to build a house out of strong brick to help keep him safe from that big, bad, scary wolf. He drew plans. He bought the best bricks he could find. And finally, after a long time of work, he stood back and admired his big, beautiful brick home. Oh, yeah! Oh no, the big, bad, scary wolf came walking down the lane. He came across the first little pig's house, made out of straw. Little pig, little pig, let me come in, said the wolf. Not by the hair on my chinny chin chin, cried the first little pig. Then I'll huff, and I'm gonna puff. And I'm going to blow your house in, screamed the wolf. Do you know what that big, bad, scary wolf did? He huffed, and he puffed, and he blew that house down. That little pig ran so fast. He ran so fast to his brother's house, made of sticks. And here comes that big, bad, scary wolf. Little pigs, little pigs. Let me come in, he growled. Not by the hairs on our chinny chin chins, cried the little pigs. Then I'm going to huff, and I'm going to puff, and I'm going to blow your house in. That big, bad, scary wolf huffed, and he puffed, and sure enough, he blew that house down. The two little pigs ran fast, so fast, until they finally reached the third little pig's house, made of brick. Don't worry, we are safe here in my strong, brick, beautiful home. There was a hard bang at the door. Little pigs, little pigs, let me come in, said the wolf. The hairs on our chinny chin chins, cried all three little pigs. Then I'm going to huff, and I'm going to puff, and I'm going to blow your house down. So that big, bad, scary wolf huffed, and he puffed, and then he huffed and puffed some more. But nothing happened. The house stood strong. The wolf was angry and very hungry. He climbed up onto the rooftop and jumped down the chimney. Splash! Oh! <laughs> the wolf landed in a pot of boiling hot soup and it burned his tail on fire. He leaped out of the chimney and ran away as far as far as he could. Now, as for the three little pigs, they did watch after each other. They lived happily ever after in the house made of bricks. And they never, never saw that big, bad, scary wolf again. Thank you for joining me here on Family Roberto. I hope you enjoyed the story of the three little pigs. Always watch out for one another especially your brothers and sisters. Like one little pig, two little pig, three little pigs. And a wolf.
Well, hello there. Ruby here. You caught me just in time. It's Teacher Appreciation Day, and I thought I'd make a special trip up to the school to tell the teachers how thankful I am for them. I'm sorry, friends. I haven't much time. I gotta catch the bus. You want to come along? Yeah. Well, follow me. Let's go to the bus stop. Well, what have we here? The three little pigs! Hello! Howdy, ma'am! Buenos tardes, senora! <laughs> and hello to you two little piggies! Little piggy? I am ever so proud! You're learning Spanish! Si! That means yes in Spanish, Miss Ruby. My teacher helps me learn Spanish. Ah. Are you three pigs on your way to the bus stop by chance? We are. We're going to school. Let's walk together, shall we? I'm headed that way, too. It's Teacher Appreciation Day. And I want to personally tell the teachers how thankful I am for them. Yay! Let's go. Vamos. Welcome aboard, little kitties. Hop right in and let's go to school. Hmm, you're taking us to school, right, Mr. <clears throat> bus Driver? Yes, of course. I'm driving to school. <laughs> yeah, school. But you don't look like Mr. Peterson, the bus driver that takes us to school. <sighs> Get in the bus. Not by the hair of my chinny chin chin. You say, you say. That means go away in Spanish, Mr. Wolf. <sighs> Move aside, Mr. Bus Driver. I'm driving this bus. The piggies on the bus go off to school, off to school, off to school. The piggies on the bus go off to school. Learn, piggies, learn. Piggies on the bus go bumpity bumpity boo. Oh, bumpity bumpity boo. Bumpity bumpity boo. The piggies on the bus go off to school. Learn, piggies learn. Learn, piggies learn. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh. <sighs> Here we are, friends. Safe and sound at the schoolhouse. Welcome, friends, to the schoolhouse. Come on in. Something tells me you're not Mrs. McDaniel. What big eyes you have, Mrs. McDaniel. The better to see you with, my little Piggly Wiggly. You have super big ears, Mrs. McDaniel. The better to hear you with, my dear. No, you're not my teacher. You are El Gran Lobo Malo. That means the big bad wolf, Mr. Wolf. Mr. Wolf, you have shown bad behavior. Your bad behavior will have consequences. Do you see that corner inside? Mm. Adios. Adios means goodbye in Spanish. <laughs> We just want to say thank you for being such a wonderful teacher. We all appreciate you very much. Gracias. Gracias means thank you in Spanish. Gracias for joining me, friends, here on Ruby Storytime. I hope you enjoyed the story. Do you remember the Spanish words we learned today? <laughs> Adios! Adios! I thought it would be fun to tell you one of my favorite children's stories. Have you ever heard of the three little pigs? Are you ready? Let's begin! 
Once upon a time, there lived a mommy pig, a daddy pig, and their three little pigs. It was time for the three little pigs to leave home, and each of them build a home of their own. The daddy pig said to the three little pigs, Be careful out there and watch out for one another. There's a big, bad, scary wolf that lives in the forest. The three little pigs hadn't walked very far until one little pig started to feel very tired. <sighs> this will do, said the lazy little pig. He quickly built a house from straw that was laying around. Not much time had passed, and the second little pig stopped walking and looked around. This will do, he said, and he quickly built a house from sticks and branches that were scattered around on the ground. But the third little pig, he walked and walked and walked until he found the perfect piece of land to build the perfect house. The third little pig was smart. He knew he needed to build a house out of strong brick to help keep him safe from that big, bad, scary wolf. He drew plans. He bought the best bricks he could find. And finally, after a long time of work, he stood back and admired his big, beautiful brick home. Oh no, the big, bad, scary wolf came walking down the lane. He came across the first little pig's house, made out of straw. Little pig, little pig, let me come in, said the wolf. Not by the hair on my chinny chin chin, cried the first little pig. Then I'll huff, and I'm gonna puff, and I'm gonna blow your house in, screamed the wolf. Do you know what that big, bad, scary wolf did? He huffed, and he puffed, and he blew that house down. That little pig ran so fast, he ran so fast to his brother's house, made of sticks. And here comes that big, bad, scary wolf. Little pigs, little pigs, let me come in, he growled. Not by the hairs on our chinny chin chins, cried the little pigs. Then I'm gonna huff, and I'm gonna puff, and I'm gonna blow your house in. That big, bad, scary wolf huffed, and he puffed, and sure enough, he blew that house down. The two little pigs ran fast, so fast, until they finally reached the third little pig's house, made of brick. Don't worry, we are safe here in my strong, brick, beautiful home. There was a hard bang at the door. Little pigs, little pigs, let me come in, said the wolf. <laughs> Not by the hairs on our chinny chin chins, cried all three little pigs. Then I'm going to huff and I'm going to puff and I'm going to blow your house down. So that big bad scary wolf huffed. And he puffed, and then he huffed and puffed some more. But nothing happened. The house stood strong. The wolf was angry and very hungry. He climbed up onto the rooftop and jumped down the chimney. Splash! Oh! <laughs> the wolf landed in a pot of boiling hot soup, and it burned his tail on fire. He leaped out of the chimney and ran away as far, as far as he could. Now, as for the three little pigs, they did watch after each other. They lived happily ever after 
in the house made of bricks. And they never, never saw that big, bad, scary wolf again. Thank you for joining me here on Family Roberto. I hope you enjoyed the story of the three little pigs. Always watch out for one another, especially your brothers and sisters.